Okay, kwa hivi sisi ndio wabodi bete pass gently una kushe kushe una kabo na mimi ni Timu John Fuller na mimi ni host and today we will talk about headache. We are with 37th session we will on day 9 in existence for over a year today na Sunday October the 3rd 2021 and today na Dr um MZ2 and I will present to me. Okay? We also get the panelists with our the wabodi bete pass gently team. Um, most of us have been already. Um, when we get to that stage, before anybody, if I ask any question, before anybody say something, you're going to introduce who that be. Okay, but if at any point in time, when I don't know that it's possible, when I just ask, we go happy for letting me introduce that person to you. If that's if the first time this week they join you. Like what they say before, um, nobody know they get paid in this program. Um, basically, now we are saying that we don't the uh, different parts of the world. We don't study in different areas. We Get experience that we can't together no more and see you know it in there we give you people and something back now they could do i'm not going to get paid and also the advice will give a not a lot to one individual even though it might give an example of something we may be is similar to you but for you know give that confidence no to you with the top but my general medical advice will give if you get any medical concern with an individual concern do you have a big see you doctor see you physician see you gp okay we're not enough for the because the reason we're not to say we're not going to look for advice the problem is we not get you full medical record we will not get you know examination record for the way we make you know a best judgment with the advice when you get that make we push on for our bottom of our doctors yeah so the only careful good our general advice for thing they want to look out for when for seek advice you know who side for go seek advice and you know, starting to the how if we deal with them, and I make that I make with the and and with the one issue for get that kind and support the two people. Okay. Um, there at the end, um, we will give people enough time. Like I already said before, we will give people enough time for them to ask questions. Um, if anybody don't miss any of the sessions in before, if you go on YouTube, you type this. You know, SLOGM Health. Well, body better pass gently on YouTube. You will see all the sessions that will be done before. If you have contact you on WhatsApp, you can contact me via this number. Okay. Then at the end, I will take on through, you know, I will repeat this again at the end of our first question. If now ask question, if you look at the bottom of your screen, you will see this mark there. If you press on that mark there, you will see this. Then if you want to talk, I ask you to type or ask any questions where you want to ask. Okay. Um, we go read them up at the end of the session. But while the person present, you can ask a question. Yeah. Then at the end, if you want, if you feel bold enough, you know, some man is shame, but if you feel bold enough, you want to ask question um, verbally, this is not the way we can do it. You can raise your hand, Naya. Where I see this, I will come to you. It will be a first time for some basis. If you're not able to use them function, yeah, it's fine. You can just issue your hand up. If I see that the camera, I will come to you and ask questions. So now I'm not going to delay anymore. I will left Una to Dr. Tue for the a present to Una to um, take Una through the session today when I hit that. Dr. Tue, will you get this? Sir? I need for me to as well. There you go. Okay, that's fine. So, uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, welcome again to yet another session. I will just ask for you unmute everyone for now, just for for a few minutes. Uh, so, uh, so just a few interaction. And so, uh, as um, Mr. Fuller don't say this now one of the sessions that we don't they do all the time. Um, today we they talk about headache, where I'm yes. sure. Hello, good afternoon. Uh, good evening. Uh, drive is this. Yeah, a very uh, common topic. Attention, that's normal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like, so, now to say headache is a very common topic. Uh, so before we go further, uh, I just want to ask. Uh, anybody then I we we know when we get <laughs> anybody then I we know one they get educated. No. So so and does that mean everybody were there at least at some stage in their life don't get headache? And if we if we, we don't get headache at some stage in our life, would that day are we no, no, um, waiting causing headache. Where you get headache, but you're not really know waiting exactly 
uh, or you don't get a clue as to what's causing headache. Too much intoxicating liquor. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> at least, at least, That's all right. <laughs> you're, you're quite right. <laughs> at least you, you know the cause of the headache, which is good. <laughs> right. Okay. So, uh, anybody else? Also, if you have a bleed on you. <laughs> Your brain. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So, so the causes of headache are, are, are very wide. The wide range, uh, uh, the, the list is so long, you know. So, uh, at least most people then will get a clue as to what really um, they cause the headache. You see? So, so this brings me to uh, just a few statistics about headache. Uh, everybody in a lifetime, if you take 10 people, nine of them go just go, go don't get headache in a lifetime. And um, according to the WHO, the whole world population, the adult population in the whole world, half of them, they get headache at least once in a year. At least once in a year, you get uh, an headache symptoms. So that means, say, in a year, some people they get multiple times, but at least once in a year, somebody must get headache. In, in the same uh, because this shows the the, the the range of causes of headache and uh, in the UK according to studies we didn't do so far with so many GP practices them they found out say four percent of the people where they go meet GP in a year now because of headache and uh, of them people there women they mostly they present to GP with headaches than than men and uh, nine out of 10 of them people already go meet them GPs there about headache. Uh, the headache mostly not to think we're worrying. Nine out of 10 of them, the most common cause not tension headache. Uh, second to migraine, uh, then uh, um, cluster headache. Uh, in the US, uh, according to the American Journal of Medicine, uh, the US government is spending 1 billion a year just imagine one billion a year just for the unnecessary scandal that people aid because people they worry so they get headache they don't get something worrying mostly people they worry about cancer not the head so when they go to unnecessary um, um, um scans them now uh the 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 headache uh, society the international classification they classify headache into two groups uh, but first, we find for law we know say headache na a common symptom, na a symptom, not a diagnosis. So if you get headache na a symptom you experience, it could be a symptom of something. It could be nothing. And um, the the cause then divided into two: the primary cause, we go mean say nothing no do we worrying we on the line where they cause the headache. And most people who didn't get headache they will say, oh, my migraine, my migraine. Migraine is not the only cause of headache. Uh, it's not the only type of headache. And uh, we know it most common. Uh, in fact, tension headache is the most common. Uh, so the, the migraine alone, if one discuss about them, a whole session may not be enough for talk about just migraine or any of them. So migraine, tension, cluster, common cold cough headache, not to anything where people have to worry about. And a common and type and, t and, and primary type of headache there where people only get. Um, the water type of headache when a secondary, a, a must get underlying condition. And this is uh, the type of headache we for worry about. And so um, hopefully by the end of this program, we go able for know waiting which kind symptom associated to the headache we go make we worry for go see with doctor we go make or we know worry for see with doctor or if we go see with doctor we know what you for do which what you for tell with doctor so this now the type of headache that we will for concern about because something on the line they will really cause the headache uh, amongst them you get trauma or injury to the head somebody fall or you get accident through traffic accident, you cycle, you you bang your head anywhere, especially yes. for people. Mr. Host, you can mute everybody now. 
Okay. So um, the 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 uh, uh, um, if somebody gets, they take um, blood thinning medication, the warfarin, apixaban, and the rest, and a, a, a banging head in any way or form, uh, then a one reason, in fact, to go make a go see doctor or go na a &E, or any injury we get. And it can get headache within three months of that thing. We get a head or neck injury. Now, thing we need for see your doctor for let them investigate further. The other causes then are like bleeding in the brain, you know, like within and say, you know, some people get hemorrhage in the brain, some people get clots in the brain, and some people get within and called giant cell arthritis. I will talk in more detail about that later. And just hypertension. Some people they pass uh, hypertension, uh, a condition where it's a, a, a mostly asymptomatic. You know, they get any symptoms. And one of the symptoms, if they get hypertension, are like headache. So some man no go ever know say he get, he get hypertension. Now a dick no more, a dick no more, they get. Then maybe out per chance, he go see a nurse or he go see somebody say, well, Lord, just take your blood pressure for something else. Then he find out saying blood pressure high. And then a day in journey of diagnosing hypertension, they start. And um, people who then get cancer of any sort, you get skin cancer, you, you know, and, and breast cancer, prostate, whatever, whatever type of cancer, then you get headache, then it calls for investigate. Or some people then they get hypertension at the brain where they don't investigate and don't get any cause, okay? And certain drugs they will they take. Uh, um, uh, of course, alcohol is a drug. If you don't drink alcohol, uh, with the withdrawal and all the other symptoms of hard alcohol excess, it gets headache. And then co and codeine, ibuprofen, over-the-counter medication, trip uh, and somatotriptan, would they take for migraine? All the medication, then they get their own side effects. Although they help win in one way, but if you take them too much, it get a type of headache, could then call medication overuse headache, where we will talk in more detail um, later. Now, the other uh, um, um, cause of headache, where most people, some man go aware of, um, na carbon monoxide poisoning. Now, you get people there, like, like back home in Africa, people will use generators, some man taking generator, a, a light time like veranda and uh, throughout the night, or some man put her inside, some area inside a house, that, generator they emit carbon monoxide that carbon monoxide they, they come and they bind to a part of the blood we then call hemoglobin when at that part of the blood they take oxygen throughout the body if hem a, a, a carbon monoxide bind to that it could cause carboxy hemoglobin we a very difficult way going to the tissue for release oxygen and it will cause pulsing the tire the confuse severe headache so if una wake up now also in the morning or una all now in a household or na a conference una go na only complain headache una check about this uh, and make some people like in winter it go wait some side it put in light in, in, in car on because you won't get heating inside. Then on top of this, some man, they smoke back. So you cut the, 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 the glass, then they up you, the smoke inside, the, 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 the carbon emission from the car, they come up again, all land they, they cause this carbon monoxide, they high, and they bind to, as I don't explain to this, a, a, a hemoglobin, now you, now it, we breathe in, into a, a very difficult for release, you know, and it cause this headache. You know, so 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 this is now one common cause. Anybody we is see them, it, they can advise say if you day inside you can you probably turn your you car engine off rather than left her on all the time. Um, because you want to keep yourself warm, that carbon emission they, they cause the headache. Um, the other uh, common cause, uh, were not common but very dangerous, now meningitis infection. If you get fever and you get headache, you get neck stiffness, you get a, a, a sensitivity to light. All them things that they 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 they, they not a sign for sure, sure saying a meningitis where it could lead to further investigation and further emergency treatment. Um, again, some people then we um, then they not say we uh, then they get enough um, oxygen, they deprive of oxygen or certain illnesses, and they we get, get even pneumonia, you get pneumonia, you need to get enough oxygen. 
um, they deprive you of the oxygen in the brain, they cause headache. And then a one reason where you make some people they go to the ICU, then they get a uh, high flow oxygen. Because they take in blood gas, they say the oxygen and the blood low, then they give you high flow oxygen. And people when they get COVID or suffer with severe uh, uh, symptoms of COVID, then they give their oxygen na, na, na ITU. So they get headache at parts of them. So the headache causes very wide. Uh, any problem at the neck, na your eyes, na your eyes, na your nose, your teeth, even you get dental problem, or you get ulcer wound na your mouth, uh, 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 you get just sudden redness na your eyes, all that they cause headache. Okay, and um, also people can get uh, uh, what they call trigeminal neuralgia, and a condition where it, it affect the nerve where they supply the face. They call it the trigeminal nerve. It is supply uh, your face, now your forehead, towards your eye, your cheeks, and your, your neck. It, it, people, somebody gets some kind of electric shock like uh, pain where they come in waves, and they last long. Then they back not a type of headache. And um, waiting at one for let people to remember why would they go through this different type of causes of headache is that the treatment of them all different. So you need for see your doctor and for no, really let them find out treating at the cause before they start treating you. Now, the most common thing the way we know the cause headache, uh, of course, I don't talk about the secondary one, but the most common one, the way we know of the, the flu cold, people less stress, you know, um, isolation, people in day, the stressful life, job, home, then they are the most common thing, that stress headache, then they call it tension headache. Um, alcohol, too much of alcohol. Um, you you see them, you get bad posture. You they get away with they call neck headache. Um, we'll talk into it more detail later. Um, problem with your eyesight, or you know they eat constant regular meal. Okay, so Monday, the, the, the brain, a very sensitive organ, we need a, a constant supply of, of glucose. And the glucose that they come from the food. So if you know they eat, you know, regular meals, you deprive the brain or the whole body of glucose. You deprive them of the energy we need. So, so Monday, the only way we could find out, say, it get a angry, now we get headache. Because the body they tell you, say, the brain they tell you, say, look, I need for eat now. I need something. Even if you know what eat, take small amount of meals, then they help you for uh, uh, give oxygen uh, and also uh, um, energy to the brain, glucose to the brain. Dehydration, people are within a very hot climate, like in Sierra Leone or, or, or Africa, a temperature can be 30, 40 degrees, very high. You know, you, you need high amount of, you know, water. You get for the drink three or three liters, two to three liters of water. If you dehydrated, you will get headache. Okay, the too much medication they use, uh, painkillers they would they use. Uh, we the, we we every day. So Monday it gets underlying condition, but then pain medication they take the every day every day. Let's say ibuprofen. If you take them every day every day up to fifteen days in a month, you get chance for lay you will get within a call medication overuse headache, and codeine or or or, or, or tramadol or any of the opioids. Or morphine, you use them one in day every day for up to ten days in a month, constant, constantly, two months, three months. You the tendency for they get a medication overuse headache, and then they can be very difficult for uh, for people. And because the one way we go for treat then enough for stop everything at once, and when you stop them, you they get a rebound worsening headache before you headache better. And some people can find that difficult. They're not able to cooperate with that. And and apart from the 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 the, the let me just clarify. We we'll see the stop all except the opioids. If they take codeine or tramadol or morphine, you don't do that for a long time. You need to stop them immediately. You need to stop them gradually. But in essence, you need to stop them and give yourself one month break without any medication before. Uh, you start to take any other one. So it can be difficult for the people where they get done. So this is not an advice to anybody where they use for take medication. Every single thing, you just take medication, self-medicate yourself, and not good in a way. And and then for, for women, them, um, they can get a um, um, problem, you know, menopause. 
where women engage the menopause, the, the hormone we didn't call estrogen, we in the help the woman, they reduce. And because it reduces the tendency for leading to get addict more. So the woman we they can end up forget HRT if they don't get anything we contraindicating to that, then they find out that they sometimes see the help. And also, women the way they menstruate, we not reach the menopause yet, then the, the time close to the menopause, them so close to the period, then ten in the two to three days to the period with the estrogen and the drop. That thing they deny, they find out, say they get headache. And if they get migraines, I mean, most of them they present with migraine symptoms, and they get what they call uh, 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 um, menstruation or hormonal head uh, 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 migraine. You see? So, so in them cases, then they, if somebody they take on any combined pill, you know, we get estrogen in that, we it gets pill free break period, it can, it can continue without that. And, and, and break period. But you can talk to your doctor more, it can go in more detail with that day for you. And, um, but again, I want to mention, say, if you get migraine, the different type of migraine, then they will work and talk. If you get migraine with aura, it will advise you, maybe you get for talk to your doctor if you do use any contraceptive for avoid the combined contraceptive. So again, as we talk, smell, too much exposure to computer, uh, light, uh, um, lack of water, poor sleep. So man, no day, one sleep, one day, 24 hours, they keep your body up going. The body go tell you, say, I don't tire, I need for sleep. So it is start for warning you by telling, by giving you the headache. So you go, they go now, go meet doctor, where they take paracetamol, take codeine, all type of medication, you know, and sleep, you know. So you need for sleep, forget your body for regenerate. Let the, the brain itself regenerate and adjust itself. Sometimes not only that you need, you don't need nothing else for help you, you, um, your symptoms. Too much caffeine, so man, they like coffee, tea, a lot. So man go there, six cups, seven cups, 10 cups of coffee and tea, you know? And that caffeine, they, too much excess of that caffeine, they, they cause headache, you know? And say if you drink coffee and tea, at least if you limit them to three cups a day or less, that will fine. Uh, again, too much caffeine get your effect apart from the headache. It make you go weak too much. They get incontinent problem and some other other problems all people and they get. Now we'll talk about the common type of headaches them uh, in more detail. Now you get waiting and call if you come to the end. Yeah, I see this woman there. Yeah, you get pain um, around uh, um, in, in temple region. You know, you get what they call it temporal mandibular joints. Now that joint, the way they open your mouth and close your mouth. Now that joint, they now they help that for happen. If you get any problem with that, you know, you get any problem with that, it they cause pain in your temporal region. And this uh, important when you get them kind of pain and they foresee you doctor because there are other differentials, other different things can happen. It can be say you get what they call uh, and giant cell arthritis because itself they happen at the temple. The giant cell arthritis is now a condition wherein the blood supply, the blood vessel where they supply that part of the temple become inflamed or get a problem. It can clogged up or it can get it can it can it can become sticky. If if the, then they happen to somebody, mostly happen in people here over 40 or 50 years, if then they happen at an emergency because the, the, the blood supply to that, uh, 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 um, that temple connects to the eye, if they're not treated immediately, it can lead to blindness. So then are just one differential way you will need, where your doctor will need for looking into. If not, it, 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 it notice, it can get for you a treatment we maybe not high dose steroid, or it will send you send you to a high specialist for look your eye for make sure say it not involve your eye. Okay, then I want two. You get also that same area there. You get a nerve with the supply that area. They can't be don't talk the trigeminal nerve. That trigeminal nerve there, it can like an electric shock wave, you know, of pain with the cam. It lasts for a short few seconds. Then treatment for that day again is different from that one for where they get from uh, uh, the giant cell arthritis. Okay. And, um, and the temporal mandibular joint as well, as, as I don't mention to you. So when you get pain in the inside and they, if finally you see a doctor, let it distinguish them because the different, any of, they all get the different way they treat them. If they go treat you for the wrong one, you know they get the benefits, then you get the side effect of the medication and they give you wrongly. And the next one, uh, sinusitis, most of we know about sinusitis, the face, 
or the skull, it gets holes the inside. Then holes then they supposed to be aerated. Then holes then they communicate with the nose, with the throat, with the mouth. So you see some man we get flu cold, it they begin get runny nose, in face, it they get pain now in aid, now in face, just like Usai, you see this man, yeah. So waiting they happen now because then sinus is there. If you look on this side of this person, the sinus is there, and the, the different type of sinus is and the holes the inside the, 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 the face, then then clear. When you begin get sinusitis, you begin get infection inside the sinus system. Day. First, it is start maybe with just flu or cold. Then flu, then they, not all sinuses need antibiotics. Because some of them are flu, they start with in the first one week or so. Now flu, you take antibiotics, maybe you just did one for make yourself happy. Um, but it no will help. You all you need for do now um, and conservative measures that we would we your doctor will talk with with you we will go through with you we will use for for treater but if then they not be treated it can extend forget bacteria infection they we go make now you start forget thick uh, and green yellowish snot they come out now what in the happen if you look now yeah, the fluid don't develop now it don't become infected. This they communicate to the nose. It they come out to the thick green yellow uh, uh, snorts. They come out, and because this pressure inside the sinus is that when you bend your face down for pick anything, it they find out say it they get more pain. The pain the more worse. See, so that na the na the sinus is basically, and and of course we 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 know and, and the treatment again different. The other type of headache we we'll talk about now the cluster headache with a very severe, in very a, a severe, a worse pass, a severe pass, migraine or tension. Um, closer headache, now a headache where normally it kind of feel like, 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 like somebody they pierce you now your eye, you know, like somebody they bore all inside your eye. It come with runny nose, it come with sometimes red eyes, then symptoms in the car in clusters, it come up, it's until you get eight of them in a, in a, in a single day. Or, or six or seven of them in a single day. Then one in day at the initial start, it can normally when you get them, you see your doctor because then they can present similar to a condition with they call cavernous sinus thrombosis, where now the, 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 the nerves and the blood vessels within they pass through the brain, one side within the pass, within call the cavernous sinus, where if you get any clots or any abscess or anything, they, it, can, it can present similar way. The symptoms then they overlap. So in the first initial stage of um, cluster headache, they can advise that you do scan. After that, it, not to anything we're worrying as we mentioned. So as soon as you see this minor, mostly it can be on one side and it can really, really severe, a severe pass migraine. Okay, so the next one we, we know very common, like the most common one due to stress and attention headache. Why, 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 why uh, stress they cause up? The, 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 the head is surrounded by muscles. So when you get tension or stress, the muscle and they go into spasm. So when I see Naya, the muscles there, they all they go into spasm. Then they then they stiff. So now then they make you they feel this pain. They they round you head like like a band, like this woman get like a band round them. So then go into spasm. Then become so stiff, and you neck self sometimes. Now dandy because you so much tense, you know. Uh, uh, um, because of the stress way they get. And then they happen in both sides, it can be all over your head. Then that type of addict, then they all what you need, maybe enough for rest, maybe take a few medications, just once or two, and you get rest, and they help. Now, migraine, where most people uh, know about uh, and they fear about, how in the present, and they present mostly one sided. It is like drum the beat now you eat, like drum the beat now you eat. Although in some cases, the migraine can be both sides, but mostly in a one side in the day. And migraine, it get different type. As I be, don't talk about the menstruation, people uh, with the woman who did the menstruate, then they get migraine during that time in the day. Uh, it can worse, you know, and after that, then they find out they begin better. It can last for four hours. It can even last for three uh, three days, the, 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 the migraine. And some people in the they call migraine with aura. It they give you warning, say, at the camel. Uh, we, we, we type of warning them and, and symptoms um, normally uh, migraine uh, with aura they give. And they give visual symptoms like they see lights, flickery lights, spots, lines. Uh, now you see now your eyes. And so man, they get numbness 
or pins and needles sensation, like tingling, tingling sensation and your arms, and your legs. And so man, even they get speech problem. But one thing where if you get migraine, you for one or watch for, then symptoms that will they come, they don't for last for more than one hour. If ever they last for one, more than one hour, you need to see your doctor because it could be something more than just a migraine. And that now we then call it typical aura. You get the one the way then call atypical. That if they happen, you no need for wait, you need for see your doctor. Like you get migraine, okay, they get migraine, but you get begin get balance problem. You know, or typical aura no go cause than they, you know, you begin get balance problem, you get weakness now your legs then or, or, or your foot, you begin to see double, double vision. Uh, um, or the symptoms just in a one year, the eye become red, you know, and your level of consciousness reduce, then they then call them atypical aura. If they happen, they need for investigators and why then they happen. But the typical only car, we don't talk, a flickering light and all that thing, they can happen. And so man, they, because of the migraine can so bad, in, in bad part tension headache, we get tiny, they will continue job. Or as opposed to tension headache, when you get them, you're able to continue your daily job. If you cook, you continue. If you work in the office, you continue. But migraine, where you get her, oh my gosh, it, it, the, the screen, the, the light of the uh, or, or the light will disturb you. You need to be able to continue your job. Pass you go, they don't get rest. Okay. And so my, if they feel sick or beans, or if they feel sick and you even they sick when you get a, a, a migraine. So a bad and a worse and a painful past tension headache. The other headache. Uh, and any of the, as I mentioned, they repeat again, the way they treat migraine is different from we they treat tension and it's different from we they treat cost cluster. Any of them in treatment different, which is why they take time for explain them. Um, one program, not going enough for going into details into every of them. But which we want for let people and take home from here today is let you know the different type of headache, how they present. So when they go see your doctor, you will know I go explain to her, you go able for guide for a uh, new waiting at the cause and able to treat you accordingly. The other headache we, we, we come on at the neck headache, you know, they call it psychogenic headache. Uh, this work more common during this lockdown Yeah, They see people in Boku, they come with her, they say, come with doctor, say, oh, I get pain on my back or oh, I get pain on top of my head. And we see the worry now, if they feel say, you don't get cancer, they for go scanner. Now, why you they get this pain? Uh, um, so man, it, it, it happened because you get this pain here again. The head surrounded with muscles, the neck muscle. Them some people in the strain them. Either if you they do office work, there is a tendency that way they do office work. For let you lean forward, you put your chin forward. Gradually doing that for a long time, it is strain your neck muscle. Them the woman who they do here, then they they plant air or then within a then saloon. It always they bend in one position for doing job. Okay, then they all they strain your neck muscle, or you lay down a bit, you lay down awkwardly in a bit, it is strain your neck muscles. And some people, elderly people, they get arthritis now your neck, the, the bone stem now your neck, you see spine and bone stem. That arthritis, they, they relate to the nerves, them way they now your back. Like you can see now, this now the muscles, them now the neck, them muscles there now the neck. When you don't strain them, then they irritate their nerves there, and their nerves there, they send message to go, or they, 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 they relate, go up, now you, now you add, the as I mean, they say the head surrounded with muscle, and they cause them add the, the muscles, and at the head, they, they go into spasm. So you begin get this stiffness, you begin get that pain from your back or if they go now you eat. Some of them, a uh, uh, cervical, a uh, 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 spine, a muscle, a nerve, there are some of them they can come down your arms and all that. So basically not just because of the neck muscle, all you may need in here, not just good massage, good relax, they can help. So this is not just the different and uh, differentiation that I don't give for the different type of headache. So now, um, how we did diagnose them? Mostly for diagnose headache now, it based on your story where you get the doctor, your story we go explain to the people with the, the specialist. Now you get a whole specialty where they only do a clinic only for headache because it's so wide and it difficult. You know, it depends on the story of the person for leg way before and know which is the main cause of the headache because we know the treatment different. You see, so you go meet neurologist them, they will ask you for do a headache diary. 
I will explain that in more detail. But then we go see doctor, he go examine you, take your blood pressure. He look the way, even the appearance, the way the worker come to her, he, he watch you get. We see some we, we go see your GP, sometimes we turn up out to see where they come, and they see how the worker for come time. You know, so all you need for do here, and I for be honest with you, doctor, tell you, doctor, the true thing, not exaggerate symptom. You get some people with a tendency for exaggerate symptoms, then feel it and they help, but it, 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 it cause in another way, we go make them misdiagnose you. So do tell your doctor the true thing where they happen. Your doctor, they check the nerves them, now you, you know, you, now your body, your face, your arms them, and it, it look, it take a light, it look behind your eyes for see if there's any swelling there. Then they, again, they give uh, a clue to the doctor. Now, um, the, 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 the most, and uh, the people who are able to look behind your eye properly and see what they did, now the opticians because then get an instrument we will clearly dilate open the pupils and see behind the back of your eye but again we'll get other uh, and, and, and instrument that working we working we watch where your doctor can look in a clinic we can foresee anything behind your eyes so the key thing is the migraine the tension the cluster or uh, sinus problem or with you no need you no need fancy investigation, you know, did any investigation, not just your story, now they help you for letting diagnose them. And we go investigate them if you get what they call red flag. That is then secondary, then thing we don't talk about the secondary cause headache. Now they want they need investigation. Now, if they investigate, now it's scan. Now, um, the advice in with nice and everywhere say let them not just do, do scan to people and because you want to get assurance, say, this headache will get you nothing or up with her. And I waste in the US, then they spend like one billion a year, as I don't mention initially. So, waiting next week, we can do we the, the headache diary 90s. Now, just for explaining more details, you they take like one month or two months. Day one, you you assess, you tick here, you put a number between one to ten, how severe your headache day. So, now are you able to categorize your headache? You they say in a scale of one to ten, one being no pain at all. 10 being really the highest pain where we can say like we woman they deliver. Or if you know deliver it or you're a man, say the highest pain like really high in the sky. You put a scale there, say na two, na three, or seven. You put a, you tick them. Or the one today, I don't get no headache at all. The one all day, you tick this box. Or I get this headache and I begin to feel sick. You tick them. And I vomit again, you tick them. Or the light, when I go to, to uh, and, 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 and sit down in front of the light, I know able to withstand them. I get for for goodly dumb. You tick up, see, sensitive to light. Or the sound where people always car the pass or somebody talk near you, it is worse in your headache. You tick up. And any activity where you do, we worse in them. You write the activity day. And how many hours sleep you get for the day? And how long the headache lasts for? As I say, so migraine, you have four hours, so up to three days it lasts for. You know, you tick that day. And any medication where you don't take, that medication and I help for clear that headache. I don't mean by that, I mean medication way immediately when you get the headache. Now you take if you don't already they take that medication day, that will not count that day. But the medication way on top of which you don't take, say if you don't take one tablet, ibuprofen, or every day, every day, then for the headache, now you need to get an additional one. Now that additional one, the way you take will help your headache. Now you did it, it, it right now and ask if that medication they help or you no help at all, or it just helps slightly. So when you take this, you do this for one month, you go see now the headache clinic. I mean, this 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 chart you know, from uh, Guys and St. Thomas's Hospital in London, and then they use even, even in Manchester and everywhere, then get their own headache and diary, then you get doctor, you go see your GP, you can get your headache diary, where you can fill in, you can have the appointment, you, you help make life easy for letting diagnose you. So this is not just the explanation of which we don't talk. So now we not the red flags them. Um, as I be don't talk, anybody where you not a, you get the diagnosis of HIV or you they take immunosuppressive medication. Let's say you don't under cancer treatment, you they take any drugs. If you get, you know, blunt get headache, you just suddenly can get headache. Then I think then I, a worrying thing where you need for see a doctor for let them investigate. Under the age of 20, and you get a history of cancer, you get a headache, you go for go see your doctor. Or then we don't diagnose you of cancer of any form. You get new headache, you know, blunt get headache, you just wake up, you begin get a headache. 
you get for go see your doctor. You begin vomit. You know, know the cause of the vomit. You for go see doctor. Over the age of 50, you just get new headache. What, what are you emphasizing? You're saying new. Not to headache will be the always they get. Or you be don't always they get this headache, but the character of the headache change. Okay. Or, you know, one day get headache, the headache just come no more than a new headache. And you over the age of 50, it can be seen as something that you bring, or it can be seen as giant cell, at, I be not explain, but giant cell arthritis or temporal arthritis in detail. So it can be seen as denting in the day that we need for go see your doctor. I don't talk about meningitis, fever and headache. And also people that can get with me called subarachnoid hemorrhage, like bleed behind you, you, you back up. Like thunder clap, they go lightning. They can thunder. They can just get that severe. Some some people when they go meet a doctor say, ah, I know one they get experience the kind of headache today. This headache be so so bad. But later on, something go pass off. Then they na an indication for let them scan you. Something na a bleed na the back of your head. Okay, and you day you you just begin get your weakness na your arms or legs. Or some body day, it be, it, it be fine. Then suddenly, it just begin losing loss in, in memory or a loss in personality. If we don't dress fine, if it looks at somebody with a, a, a mile, they talk to people and find the attitude and behavior just change suddenly. Now, we know dementia can present with cognitive dysfunction, but we know for bank on the fact saying a dementia. Even if you go see your doctor, you say dementia bank on them, enough for cancer just suddenly like that. Then for need for investigator with a scan. Now, a few day, you know, in, in Africa or in society, when somebody in personality change, then what attach them to black magic. Now somebody don't do and this, now somebody don't do and that. Now make in attitude just don't change. Hey, this man are the good man. This woman are the good woman. Look how they behave now. Come on, we need for investigate the law, no attach to black magic, go begin get the person unnecessary thing we no need. Let them go to a doctor, investigator, and the most key thing, then for scanning brain and see. Sometimes you get abscess in the brain. Sometimes you get a tumor in the brain. Sometimes you get some kind of pressure we don't build up, a hydrocephalus or whatever, pressure build up inside in brain. We the need for drain, we go help in situation. I don't know if people are away, they suddenly develop dementia or they begin to develop cognitive dysfunction and go see the doctors them. The doctor is, oh, this is not dementia. Then begin asking questions for dementia, then do everything. Then later on, they will just, they will just go do scan and find out that this person they get something else in the brain, not to dementia at all. So, which is why this is very important. Somebody with personality just change, don't just bank on seeing a dementia. Yes, it could be dementia, but part of in part of the the, the, the screening for dementia, in fact, now in the hospital uh, uh, or even with the GPs, then they do bloods, then they do ECG, then then they do scan your brain. After all that they don't done, it's fine. Before the psychiatrist then kind of look into things, say they begin treat you for dementia. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you get a uh, the exercise, the headache. The, the worse than a, again a sign for let you see a doctor. When you cough or sneeze, it was the headache. Uh, uh, or if, if you get a headache, you try for lock your nose, lock your mouth, and breathe out. They call that Vasalva maneuver. If you do that day, it was in the headache than a sign back say for go see the doctor. Or anybody get a headache, this headache get for wake you middle of the night. Than a key red flag, you get a headache. Normally, somebody get migraine, they go to sleep, they feel better. Tension, you get it. But then maybe a, a type of headache, not for wake you in the night. If you, have, if you get for wake up in the night, for sedon small, because of the headache, now you wake you up. You get for sedon for lay, you take medication, you need to see your doctor. The need for investigate, and the headache, not for wake you in the night. Okay, so... I don't talk about all the other things. If you get a problem with your eyesight and all anything, they, they cause you headache. Pregnancy. If woman, woman who then pregnant, as they begin to with headache, they will begin to think of eclampsia or preeclampsia because now one come on, they look in a leg stem, if they swell, then they take in weave for see if protein they day, then they check all the things and they for make sure see this posture. If now one sign now the way pregnant woman come, especially in this mid uh, and uh, second and third trimester uh, one common sign nandy of of eclampsia 
okay? And, and I don't talk about men, men, meningitis and a typical aura or any visual problems. So all then thing and the way you get them, you need for see your doctor. Um, and also if you cough and sneeze, certain condition, what condition they call an ulcerary malformation, where in part of your brain, this is not the, the cerebellum part of the brain, it is normal here. If it get any abnormality, it will try to push itself down. Now the only open at the skull of an adult, you know, they call it foramen magnum, it will cause pain. We do we lock your nose a mot. It will cause that, 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 that worse in the pain. So none of the easy way they make, you get to go see your doctor. So what do you for do for help yourself? Try for drink plenty of water. Water is a very good medicine. No, I don't mean coffee tea. I mean plain, clear water. A very good. We body, we sells them. We blood with the flow. It get boku water panam because you need that water day for help the the brain and the other tissue. You eye all over for let ego function. So you need for drink plenty water. Take plenty rest, okay? If you get flu, no, no make, say, pauper this flu for done tomorrow because I want to go work, I get all that thing for do. Allow the flu, allow your body for rest. Let your body fight against the flu. No big effect your GP for letting give antibiotics for flu. No big effect people for letting give antibiotics because you want let this finish tomorrow. Or you begin cough, you, 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 you get pneumonia, you begin cough, you say them for give you antibiotics. Therefore, if the antibiotics don't do you steal the coffee. Why well, then they give another antibiotics? It doesn't work that way. You get for allow your body for regenerate and fight against the, the infection or whatever you don't get. So it needs some rest and relax. Relaxation me mechanism that you can do. Breathing exercises, breathing technique there, you know, try for exercise. We do exercise, they increase blood flow in your brain, increase, increase blood flow all over your body, then they help you. Then you take a medication. As I say, you get what they call medication overuse, a headache. No take on too much, but you need for take some medication for help get the edge of things. So if you now um, away the menstruate, Medication the way they take different different type of uh, uh, medications and they where we they give we then they give um, during uh, um, uh, um, um, uh, uh, menstruation we, uh, we get migraine around in ten and day you know things um, uh, 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 like um, uh, uh, zolmitriptan, fluvatriptan. You can take the medication and the way they take the medication they take her just two days before you begin get you in it say they get your, your, your menstruation. Then three days after, then you stop taking them. But you can talk to your doctor more. And eat small regular. Why, why you need for eat small regular? You need for get oxygen. You need for get energy to the brain. So when you're angry, your brain is strained. Your brain needs something. So that's why you need for get some snacks for let you keep your energy going in your brain. And sleep well. Avoid and stressful things then. No drink alcohol. Do not drink alcohol especially when you get a headache, it is worsening things. Okay, we know people in the get withdrawal symptoms. If you don't they, they drink alcohol all the time, all the time, you need to stop one time. Alcohol, opioid, you need to stop them one time, but train your mind for reduce gradually. And there are several services with the help before do that day. And no skip your meal, because I don't talk about, uh, uh, we don't tell them about how hunger and, and energy where you need from the food where you they eat sleep properly, avoid television screen, avoid the phone, the WhatsApp, the internet, whatever you call it, avoid them. Give your body and your eyes too much straining of your eyes, they, they cause headache, see? So when you do go see your doctor, when the headache just, they keep coming, they keep coming, they do all kinds of things, but it just, they come, it just, they come. You need for see your doctor. You know, and the painkiller they help for 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 for, for a, a reduce the headache. It, it was no matter what painkiller you take, you need for see doctor. Why 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 the painkiller not for help? They need for investigate that. And you they get this thrombing pain. You know, now your face, now your eye it can be seen a cluster headache you get. You know, and you they feel sick or being sick, even noise, small noise or lights disturb you. It, it can be meningitis. It can be migraine. 
So, and you get fever on top of it. So a need for investigate that. And the headache so, so severe that when you chew, you, 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 you the mourn you. You know, it can be a temporomandibular joint problem. It can be a, 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 and and trigeminal neuralgia. It can be saying uh, now you uh, and giant cell arthritis. They need for investigate and blurring vision, all into the numbness now. Like. So it get then symptoms there. You need for go see your doctor. When you for go see gonna air any. If you see you for door you bang your head. No one for go see GP. Go straight na air any. Okay. You headache so sudden, so severe. You say no one they get this kind of headache. No screen yourself, just go straight in the AE for letting we invest uh, uh, examine you and do scan. And you get so much uh, the pain so bad, so bad that you know even for remember things then. You know even for talk. It can be seen as talk. We don't talk about stroke, we don't talk about other things. Then. It can you need for go na, na, in the AE straight away. You you suddenly lost your vision. Sudden loss of vision, you know, can be na, na, a, a mini stroke. So I'm telling you, know, they get no weakness, but just loss of vision on one side. It happened for a few hours, you come back. You like you be seeing a midi stroke. You need for go see your doc, see your doctor. You feel just drowsy. You begin get temperature. The white part of your eyes. And tell you partner, look your partner. Oh, I just see white part of your eye. Look, it look red or it look dark. Oh, not me saying a conjunctivitis or conjunctivitis. Mostly if it's viral or whatever, it can be both side. Okay, and you need for then you move your eye. You see, say painful. You need for see doctor lay. You watch properly. So finally, as I mentioned. The list is long and so much to, to, to cover just with uh, um, headache, with all the two we don't talk, all the different type of headache. If you know they take anything here is then treatment different. It depends on the cause of the headache. So your history, your headache diary help a lot for diagnose your type of headache and plus your medical history, then it will give you the proper treatment. So I uh, will need talk treatments now, yeah? but uh, just a summary of the different type of headache and the type of treatment then. So, so far I will say thank everybody for listening to we, as we can always say, well, body better pass gentry, prevention better uh, than cure. So then program yeah, what they do for let people uh, listen, let them know, get an idea within for do when you go see your doctor, for guide your doctor, no me say your doctor no sabi, but you know yourself more than anybody else. So I will say thank you, everyone. Uh, we can unmute everybody and we can ask questions as we want. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Today. Right, so. Oh. If I'm looking, there's a lot that we, we all don't learn from this. Um, now the floor open for anybody ask question. Um, if you ask question, please, um, if I raise your, and um, virtually, or if you turn on your camera, that if you're not in an environment we uh, not good for public view, if you turn on your camera, you raise your hand up and we will see you. And we'll come to you for take your question. Um, basically, there was this myth, anyways, where most of we we not get the medical background. We book off the things, say, um, um, hey, that. You know, and uh, we're going to call migraine, they all are the same thing. At least today, we don't learn something new. We don't understand as well. So, on the thing that we, we for do, we will not for do. We do help, we for let, uh, we, we avoid it. That the only way they go through, I'm no few people, and uh, we they, they go through it here, you know, we, we think they go through it, it's really difficult. Um, until you there are around people in the, you know, will really understand, you know, their life. Somebody they go through it here on a daily basis. I must see um, Mr. Kamo and Auntie Victoria. So I'll go Mr. Kamo first. And I'll come to you, Auntie Victoria. Yeah, Mr. Kamo, with a yes. question, sir. Yes. Uh, are you on mute? Yes, sir. Where are you? Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Dr. Ture. Wow, this one uh, na, na, na na the one of the best programs uh, I've ever listened so far because it's headache now. I think we na part of my life there now. You know, women feel to say first, first, and I'm angry, type in the headache. They may not be noticing them, but, 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 type here, but however, now the TMJ one I have one for ask for the temple one. Mm -hmm. The temple headache, where they talk about, I don't know if you get any connection with toothache because I guess somebody will go pulling teeth one time. 
From where I'm under full attitude, they they like it. They always cry with this headache. I don't want to go to the hospital. Then I, you know, I I don't even have wisdom to them in go pool. Yeah, and wisdom to them in go pool. Would that make any effect or any link with this TMJ temple one we've been talk about? Then I want. And uh, the neck one as well. The neck one. Me personally, I get problem with the neck, the neck, the neck, uh, the neck one way they talk about because of me. You know, uh, I always they use computers and like we say no more. I they lean forward because of my height sometimes and they for look at the screen. And even when you know I come back home, that is same thing because I they uh, I they, I they work in an office where now computer no more they use of course. I come back, well, then, then, then next one, I mean, they always fit to say something that they push your word, they take it on. Now, now, are they related to what you talk so? So, you feel to say, I forgo CBGP for this because I can take ibuprofen one, one time, making better, and I can use that ibuprofen or uh, ointment where they can this, they can give work and rub the, it can, it can better small. Mm -hmm. You know, I know, I know one for like give me specific advice, but I just want for know if you feel to say because. Now that I don't know, it's a different, different kind of headaches and day. It would really fine for let you throw light on that for me before I go see me, GP. Thank you, sir. Okay, uh, good. So with the with the uh, start with the last one, the the, the neck headache. Uh, so we don't talk about the nerves that we supply behind. Mostly, what you need there are mostly massage. Okay, if they you do the medications and they, then they help you, which is good. Um, sometimes if you get good massage and you try for adjust your posture. Um, if you did it on the screen all the time, you get when you say 20 minutes on, 20 minutes off, and um, adjust the posture when you sit down, you know, then they, they help. I think the last book we, uh, um, I think Dr. Kamabi do, we talk about posture and all and things, and they uh, center of gravity and all and things. And they, so if you uh, adjust the posture, it will help for strain your neck muscles them, and also too much spasm of their muscles and they can cause, you know, irritate the nerves where they cause the pain around your back core and your back of your head, you know. And the good thing is that when you use them and just then rub them, they, it will help. Which, which is good. Um, but if, say, it happened suddenly, you know, a different character from anything which you don't feel, then you can go see your doctor. Uh, if you get a problem with your vision and anything. But but mainly, now you push to get for try and mostly in a massage. And just as they do, you do and sensibly, you know, they take too much medication, which is good. Okay. Now, with the one with the, with the uh, temporal mandibular joint, um, the joint itself, you know, every joint, sometimes I get cartilage in between, they get things in between the way they help the joints for move. The joint in CESF, where you open your mouth and lock them, it can get uh, um, dysfunction, okay? And sometimes when it become, uh, we get dysfunction, it gets stages of them, stage one, two, three, and so. Um, the early stage, sometimes are just soft food and so, for letting you know they eat hard hard food with the, um, better and too much where they cause the dysfunction, the worsening. If it's severe, it gets the, the maxillofacial uh, uh, surgeons and get procedures that we then go do. But again, because the wisdom today around the area then they, and also I mean, they talk about that trigeminal nerve and they talk about the, about the blood vessels, they're all there around that area then they, it, 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 your history, they help for distinguish them. Like that person, we don't get that um, toothache you know, it already get closely that tooth wisdom tooth way don't go pull because the wisdom the tooth within the pool underneath there you get a nerve, okay, where the where the supply that teeth there. So we get old now you teeth. You see where you drink water so it makes something go now that only it it is painful because you don't expose the nerve with the under. You see, so if then go for go puller and then nerve get communication connection there to a, a, around the face. So if you get, go see your dentist, maybe then we get away with them, we do, with them, we will uh, uh, um, dead in that nerve there and make it get less of the pain. If indeed, if a basin had the dental problem and cause them, but the temporal mandibular joint, as in the joint itself, they we may be different. So because all the things that they around, it, it, it need to be distinguished them and know. But the first I'll say, see the dentist, let the dentist deal with that first before you go see your GP or anybody else. I hope that helped. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dr. Tui. I'm sure that question is not just Mr. Dabwe the effect. Um, there might be few people because um, me and I may have been doing somebody in at all. We go put it. 
or maybe we'll put it problem after problem. But well, thank you very much, Dr. Tuye. Auntie Victoria. Hey, come on, come on, so Tuye, make a little figure, please go. I call, you know, say me na oldie. Ah, uh, I don't think so. The Auntie Victoria was here last week. Uh -uh. A vibrant. So I don't know. It says somebody they old within seven days. I'm not sure. But I'll check. <laughs> yes. The doctor will confirm that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, go ahead with your question, man. Oh, thank you very much for that. It's because I want to ask this. You know, the migraine and the tension headache. Hmm. You can experience both. It's yes. possible to make both. Yes. Okay. Yeah. For if I can, can, can even get the three, <laughs> you can get uh -huh. the migraine, and then the background of uh, of course you, you stress at work and all and other things the way they happen. You get them, you the mig uh, the tension come on top of them. Then because of the migraine, it they take medication every day, every. I mean the migraine, I say you get the acute treatment and they give them somatotriptan or then triptan medication. There, if you take the every day, every day, uh, mm -hmm. then you don't. If you meet your doctor, I will tell you say. Take them after two hours or three hours. You take again, not take more than two in a day. If you it routinely they take them, routinely they take paracetamol plus the stress so you don't get, you know, one relax and sleep. And then so you they get the medication induced headache on top of the tension on top of the migraine. So you want to get all three, they go on together. So uh, again, your history they go a long way for distinguish them. And once they try to clear one after the other, and you know I go about time, you go for, for, for live a fine a good way. And with the migraine itself, what most people learn, eh, and they get migraine, one, they don't know say they get migraine, two, they go no say they get migraine, but then just they treat the acute one, then they get the prophylaxis treatment. And you have a long list of prophylactic medication eh, with the app for prevent. The, the migraine for coming. And also, if you don't get migraine for long, you get triggers them. Tini will trigger the migraine for come. If you know them, you avoid them in a day. You go able for day um, um, substantially a long time without experiencing the, the, the flare up of migraines. I hope okay. that helps. Yeah, certain foods and the way I don't pinpoint they can trigger me migraine, I can try to avoid them. Good. Good. That, that's good. That's good. So, so you said get your own diary. You know, say this why they do that. Or not just food. Certain activities why they do. You know, you know that you avoid them. You are able for live a good, uh, comfortable life with less headache. Okay. Thank you for that. Yeah, Thank well. you very much, Dr. Tugay. You see, the same diary way anti-vic they keep. Now, me self, they keep it. I'll be small. If I not bought somebody, I know get that. But there are two <laughs> main problems that I'll be to get with it. That uh, now one, if I not eat, as long as I eat. It that goes okay. So <laughs> now presently, now for that sleep, if I don't sleep better, I they get that. So if you get that, the first thing they could have to be say, try for it first, but maybe 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 at the stomach they tell you say it's time for let you get some food. Yes, some good dog. <laughs> I hope so you don't eat too. You get that? Very much so. <laughs> uh, now the center of gravity will move number nine. But I, I just, I just want to say thank you to Doc. Uh, you know, fantastic job. But uh, Mr. Dabo in particular, I'm saying don't come back. You know, I just want for buttress waiting. Doc, don't say. Now a lot of we, uh, as in talk, um, you get two specific things. There. One, a tall man. Yeah, most of the time they walk near a computer, so you get the muscles of the eyes, six muscles um, within uh, each one eye. And the closer you day to this screen and the longer you day with them, um, the muscle and the tire. And the only way with the muscle that takes it the entire now this headache. That's one thing. Secondly, if you wear glasses sometimes, I don't know who's telling us you take uh, you go go do uh, check with the optician. That is absolutely vital. All right. If you don't do it 18 months ago, my baby, you get for good checks. Sometimes the lenses don't they become weak, and therefore the eye they strain as they wash the screen. So that is very important. Thirdly, the man will go pull this teeth. Any time we then pull this wisdom teeth, we're not all man get wisdom teeth. Any time they pull wisdom teeth, there is this nerve where they supply the muscles of the face with the round here, just around the, the angle of the jaw. Most of the time, they can and mm -hmm. they can touch and pull up so it can give you that numbness. Yes, that. And of course, you get referred pain, we can actually reflect by the way the person they feel. So, it's, 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 a, it's a very complex thing. And one thing you don't want, Navole developed this student called chronic 
regional pain syndrome. If after three months that pain didn't day, well, I tell you what, you get a big, big problem for try for able for recover from that. So then go start from the cheat and then go on and do all sorts of things. I get somebody who even called me not long ago. The only way we then find out this problem we get called man don't do all kinds of things. You get this to it and go, then call glossopharyngeal neuralgia. And a very, very, very rare sickness than the way Boku man don't know about. Even the specialist then at the world now one one. In this country, in England, in the whole of UK, now three no more we get. You know. So it just goes to show you that this is something so complex, not to just the Tito. There may be something else based on telling you not even know yet. And therefore, if it for leg, go see the GP and then you go refer them to the specialty. But you, because of your height and because of the number of time, the hours we really spend behind this, and maybe you yai, a lot of people and we own uh, African people and know say at the age of 40, every black man without exception need for be checked for glaucoma. It very arrive among with people then. The pressure can go up, you don't know. All you they feel that is one eye with the heart with the headache. So it's important for let we keep on top of that in a day. That's all I just get for art. But thank you so much for the telling job. Thank you very much, Uncle Doc. But you mentioned something that I don't take as a discrimination. I will take I will look on the positive. It's a because the man tall. So like every way short, so I don't say I don't get a problem with my computer screen. Thank I, you I, very I, much on that one. <laughs> 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 um, um, I get a question. I say, um, if somebody in sinus can affect his sense of smell, you get somebody we they complain about, say, you know, they will smell because of his sinus. Okay, on advice on that, or could doc or doctor, yeah, it's, yeah, of course, you, you get the your nerve what they call the olfactory nerve. Okay, then they supply the nose and all into the sense of smell and all into it. So if you get uh, inflamed sinuses, you inflame nose and layers and anything, yes, it can affect them. Okay, we know an osmia and sense of smell come on back with people who get COVID and all that in it because of that nerve being involved. So it may be good checking COVID test if you're negative or then uh, you get sinus problem yeah it could be yeah and um it, it, it will recover um but it, it can take some time you know and some okay. people may not at all. um so apart from time behind we didn't get for the time is there anything else we didn't able to do within that period while they wait for their recover is there anything we didn't need for do for maybe speed up the process or for ensure say a return uh, well, well, we don't we don't know if that day it's because then of the way when when you don't get that uh, anosmia. I'm not I'm done. Most people in the get they get COVID problem. They call the doctor there. Say I need a smell. They will let them give them something there. Let them begin getting spray at their nose for let them wait it. You would not know if that day it. You know uh, maybe anybody else can can help on that. But give you medication. All then spray when they give steroid spray and all then things and they not just way for for relief your blockage for your nose because your nose block you can get the um, small drops that we can use for on block them and if you get swelling now your nose then spray the way they get steroid spray they help for reduce the swelling and then they help the air they go through it they will forget the sensors may something that they and cause the problem not to the nerve itself being involved yes it can do that thing and they you know uh, but but for take you some medication, we will just go, um, you know, regenerate the nerve quickly for lay with him. Maybe somebody else can can help on that. Okay, I will ask the team at some point and see if anybody else gets anything will contribute. Um, Auntie Vic, at the country, I don't see you. I can't, I get two other people before you're big. Um, Galaxy A20e. I know we know say we don't get um, cigarillions, then I will get, we get that kind of thing. Galaxy A20e? I think not. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Unmute yourself, please. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> My name is Namakuta. <laughs> uh, how are you? Are? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, well, I thank you very much um, for the program. My friend just sent this to me because I don't deal with headache for so long. I think since in my 20s, um, I'm just 41 now. Um, I, there was a time when um, when it just starts, then do several check where I've been there alone. Um, I go do scan, CT, CAT scan or something, I can't remember. But I've not been seeing anything. So the doctor been saying maybe uh, migraine had developed. 
And then, um, of, okay, of, I don't deal with her now for so long. So wake him on me, of course, while I rest and take some pain medicine, a day go off. And then um, this being ten, me back, but I don't do several um, visitation. Um, them say na tension based on waiting at the explain. Let me not say na tension headache. But there was one particular time when I get this strange um, headache. I don't know if you talk bottom, but and um, maybe I miss them because I not join quick. It was different. Now I know for lay me head down, the head they hurt any they turn. But if I sit them upright, it okay. But as I lay down, um, no problem. So I see me GP. Um, well then don't then you just give me medication. Then not be able for no waiting happen. I mean, just say, um, if you continue, make, um, I tell them back, but it not been happened after some time, but it really worrisome. I don't know if you've been touched that before me, they join um, the group because I know it, it was really, really strange. I don't ever see that kind um, headache. It not go wake me, but if I wake and I need, I not able to sleep again, pass a sit down. But if I lay down, no problem. Okay. So yeah, um, that 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 headache there yeah, will mention something like that. If you uh, autostatic, you know, uh, autostatic headache uh, basically when you either lay down, it was, or some some of the when you sit down, it was. It can be sometimes with the um, what they call it, the, the, the certain fluid where they flow in the brain where they call the cerebrospinal fluid. Sometimes it can get pressure and then people can get internal hydrocephalus or things like that can cause then conditions and they or it can be say some other underlying condition they in the brain where they cause them and taking being and I pressure the change where uh, we see that so any uh, headache with you changing your position the worst you get for change one position for let it happen means something get for do with the way the and blood the, the, the fluid not the blood but you get the CSF fluid where they flow inside your brain where maybe they will need for if they don't investigate and they don't do scan they don't see nothing um do blood pressure and everything find nothing they don't resolve then then maybe that that's fine um but yeah it can it can, it can happen it can get autostatic um headache in color okay that <clears throat> answer your question ma okay yeah yeah we're anti it not happen, but they're not been doing any scan. I mean, just say, um, then you can put me on some, I think, pain tabs, and you know, it go away. So, let me say, if it happen back, make a make a go, but yeah, maybe that not happen okay. again. But they're not be able, they're not being tell me what's happening, just say, okay, try this medication. So, yeah. I was kind of like, why, waiting, which kind? I know because I don't ever get them kind of um, wow. strange headache of light and sound can always uh, make me hear that. So, that I don't know, but this why I wait, I know for later on. It's been just confusing because they they even turn if I lay down the bed they turn and pass a sit down upright, mm. but it been go away and, and not come back here. Yeah. But they not been doing any test and then just say okay if you continue come back. Mm -hmm. so. okay. okay, well yeah yeah exactly. A good advice then if you continue you come back because with you you know you you a they turn and the balance and you know with. with Vertigo type symptoms they get, it gets something for with the ears and all everything. So yeah, it, it need, if it happen again, yes, you need for see your doctor because uh, with the light and stuff, we know it's in a migraine, but with that happening, then a red flag as the one that I've been on the mention, we for see doctor. So just keep an eye on that. I hope that helps. All right. Okay. Thank, you <clears throat> Thank you very much, sir. Now they can't go to the man we elect him to call himself twice. Staffy, Staffy. How are you, sir? Uh, the final, thank you very much, bra. <laughs> I agree to Natal, and thank you for the program, you know. Thank you very much for attending as well. Yeah. Me, the call really, I the, I the call from Germany. Okay. And I the, I the get on a program, I would get information about the program from Dr. Bell. Oh. Dr. Bell, and one on a man with in Manchester day, BK, we said we did Germany before. Yeah, 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 BK, man. Yeah. Yeah, so... Thank you very much. Thank I tell you, thank you for this program. Once in a while, I can check up on our program. The one one ten, but on ten day, I'm not able to get a chance. Um, concerning the topic for today, me and my way I get uh, I've been doing eye surgery like fifteen years ago. I do retina surgery, and uh, since then I get once in a while headache, especially in the right eye. I do the surgery. 
So it only disturbed me. And yeah, I can say, unfortunately, again, me and a man, I mean, an IT man, I work in the IT field. So they work with computer eight to 10 hours a day. So I can really get once in a while a headache. You know, the only thing with the doctors then prescribe for me for now is like, make I just use eye drop and then call an eye train, training as that and make a, make a translator into English, like tear, um, tear substitute. You know, like the drop, the eye drop you did really for substitutes you, the tears the way they can, within a person in your eye, where they make the eye they become moist, you know? So now the only one that is prescribed for me for now, make her the use, but it really disturbed me sometime there. So maybe when I go to help me and give some advice, what the next I will do. Okay. So uh, I think uh, Dr. Kamal mentioned here, yeah, one two way common among uh, with black Afro-Caribbean uh, communities, uh, glaucoma. Glaucoma very common. Um, yeah, people when they get dry eye, um, so they can give you that and um, drops there. The eye uh, gets a, a channel where they call fluid for come inside and fluid for drain. Okay, so where you cry even, you get so much of and it calm that it's supposed for drain. So some thinking that the drainage can block. Okay, and then so that blockage there, they cause the pressure behind the eye, they become build up. So that they cause, you know, you know they cause a, a angle closure. Okay, or angle widening, you get two types of glaucoma, we can happen. So then they, because of that pressure at the back of your eye, they, and don't high, it, it, it cause relating, you get pain at that side. Day. So uh, we go see the optician, again for the measure, the pressure. So some people in they get glaucoma, chronic one, you know, not so acute one, chronic uh, and, and glaucoma throughout their life, but then therefore they see the eye specialist, either routinely, yearly or six monthly, letting them measure that pressure they, they get certain level we suppose for the, if that pressure become too high, it, it, it damage the nerves behind, it they begin lead to blindness gradually and, and slowly. But if the pressure they able for maintain and then they give medication where they open that blockage day, okay, um, or it, it, the dry eye indifferent, they, they open that blockage day, they help for reduce the pressure it help for maintain your eye throughout. And again, they give you the right current, correct uh, uh, glasses with the use with the, with the correct uh, 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 focus, it help for reduce and that. Then of course the screen again, they go behind, you don't do a pressure with the retina, the screen, when you when the lights come, the lights, they go focus on the, on the retina and most of the information, most of the thing they're happening. You know, if you the strainer all the time, you need for the see things there, then they again they cause the headache. So um, if the light, if, if the screen too bright, you get for put some kind something that we go reduce the the brightness and give you eyes break. Even whatever job you they do, not stay on them for thirty minutes or more. They watch screen no more. Go off them. Go do it like now. Work I just work out and within. Now, now out of the screen, they can't see them back. Then they give you your retina and your eye time for process things, for relax, you know, and able for 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 for, for help and for regenerate most of the things and, and information. So I think say you never go away from you you optician. You have to get a regular check for check that pressure behind your eye and the screen uh, reduce the number of times where they, they get the breaks in between. If that's not there, you do for it for you for you living, and then get correct posture. Okay, thank you very much. Anyway, yeah, thank you very much. Because the eye pressure, I don't, did, I do it most of the time, mm -hmm. every three to six months. Mm -hmm. That one is okay, but unfortunately, I don't get glasses. I don't get, I don't get any glasses for use. Maybe I will try to get one glasses for before when I use computer. Then get the special glasses. Maybe I will try that one. But mm -hmm. my problem where I really get. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Okay, a, I would take. Break frequently because normally I not can take breaks on the one hour to one and a half hour forever. I will even get up, you know. Mm -hmm. So I know they get break in between so often. Okay. Okay. Uh, thanks. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Yeah. You're welcome. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, and I think we um are, are, are guilty of as well. As much as you know, say that we for do. Sometimes they, you can get carried away with work and you just stay there for another week. 
an hour, two hours um, before you realize it, you know, you don't pass that time. But it's an advice where you can give you all, we most of what we work within IT or work within, work, you know, do jobs then we, we require we for sit on in front of screen for all to take time off. Hopefully we'll continue for practice that. Yes, Auntie Vic. Yeah. No, I mean, I'm your personal experience. I'll be wanting you to the boss we talk about smell. Sure. My younger brother, Dr. Kamara, no, I guess the sinus operation about 15 years ago. You smell, they come back, but you're not the 100%. Person. And you avoid for sitting out in a breezy cold place. Uh, as soon as you sit down, as I will cold, we breeze the blue, you don't. You know, so long begin block back. I will just uh, give the person my own personal experience. If they come back, but not 100%. Uh, sorry for hear that. To be honest, me may not be no, may not be no. Um, well, not yeah, that's a shame. shame. Mm -hmm. Sorry, man. I am doctor. Okay, doctor, you ask something. The, the the difficulty with the the smell, the olfactory um, nerves is that, as I say, like Doc don't talk about the, the nerve. Now the only thing we take today, medicine able for uh, reproduce, you know, for regenerate the nerve, no problem. So. Uh, as I say, if you get three quarters of your sense of smell back, uh, uh, at least it prevent you from going completely without smell. As I say, you know, the, the, the fact that they do surgery, so then they will say in the go cut, then they cut some of the nerves that, that now one thing we, we sometimes can overlook because when they cut down and they for let them regrow back, no problem. Now that I mean, they talk about that, you can some monkey end up with that numbness that happens to them fully, um, um, if you like. When them pull the the, the 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 wisdom tooth. Similarly, if them go for go do the submucosal uh, resection or maybe then do uh, sinus washout, you know, and they for go through a particular way in them. Then so sometimes then they then can destroy the thing and then that can cause that kind of thing. But mostly it can come back, you know. And like for example, this COVID nineteen, where we not say it affects the sense of smell. A lot of people them can say they recover, but so man now, you know, they can get certain amount of recovery for do with maybe extremes of smells. Now, I know I'm going to the details of that, but the good smell, so mind the smell perfume, and of course the bad smell, then the smell as well. In between, they might not get that, but that's how some tendon day can happen. So, uh, you know, but at least you get something where you could smell with. But gradually, some man can get their own. It might not be a hundred percent, but some man can get them back fully. It all depends on just how severe it was and how you recover. That's the thing. They're waiting at the process when they do. But I hope so that helpful. Thank you very much, sir. Um, to the one that we, including Antivik, we they share their personal experiences. I really commend you now. And I believe, see, it helped a lot of people because there's a lot of people that we go deal with. They suffer the same thing. We one no understand, or maybe they do feel like they know what they go through. Um, at least to not say this night. It's not a consolation, but at least when I can see, say, no to no normal. And they suffer some of them here. And sometimes they it better as well when they talk because then they will, will help either for uh, them giving a help and guidance on waiting for do, or maybe the see where they talk, so you don't experience or waiting cause for that you get that they maybe might prevent somebody else, let, you know, go down that path. Um, Mr. Sulaiman? Mr. Sulaiman? Yes, yes, I did with you, but I did with you. Did you get to me? Eh? Yes, we hear you. Okay. Um, actually, I'll be one for ask Dr. Ture. I get somebody we don't suffer from cluster headache for a period of years now. Um, initially, he get he said he gave one kind drop. We can drop inside his nose, but that one not seems to work. In fact, he said in those different, different, different types of uh, drugs, nose, nose drug or whatever. But uh, when the attack in Kamsu, it can just get for BRM. So this don't go on for so long. In fact, they don't more or less don't try for adopt to that system. They say anytime when the attack comes, so it can just stay cool and uh, go through the pain. It's an excruciating pain. Where it can always go through. So I've been for let make them just throw lights small on that. And uh, what kind of a treatments we then go advise me so that I go for channel and to the person that I would surely appreciate. 
So I've been just one for share this one with the family. Thank you so much. All right, that's good. Uh, so as we talk, especially how you, how you describe and so, uh, it, it very ex, it very bad, so excruciating pain. Now the, the treatment for cluster headache is this. I know that drop with them, they get most likely in a triptan, nasal uh, triptan. It can work for some people and some people and they work. The, the key thing when you get the attack, now high flow oxygen in the gear. Okay. When you get an acute attack, uh, and right. it's really brave enough, it's so brave enough that it be around. But if um, if if you get any way, if if you go na, you go see neurologist or headache clinic, they know see you get. Sometimes they can prescribe oxygen for them. In the high flow, we see happy they open at all. It take that high flow oxygen they nearly have kind of one. Then for prevent them happening. Uh, I still will not want for, for, for the top treatments now, but I mean, you ask. So the, the treatment normally then you get a, a medication called Verapamil, a kind of a blood pressure medication. A doctor would take in blood pressure and everything, but it again, constantly, they take her every day, a small dose. It help for prevent the frequency of the attack. But in the acute attack, triptan sometimes, nasal triptan, they help. Some man will get injection, you know, will help. But the best treatment is high flow oxygen. You can see in Dr. Moore for more uh, details on prevention and uh, on treatment. But that's what um, we know so far for her. I hope so. Yes, uh, Doc, you are very correct. That, uh, I think he tell me, say at one time, even they use oxygen. You can use them, um, I think I see about between 10 and 15 minutes, then the pain can subside. Then it will feel relief. You know, but uh, at times, say even if you use the oxygen, you know, you know, only get percent help out. First, you can just get for beer, whatever they come. You know, mm. even that's that's. I think that medication where you talk about that doctor you talk about, we see maybe in a like blood pressure medicine. I know, I know, I know, get the name well, but I think it's an activity that we don't prescribe for them. Mm. Uh, instead, we can use them, but certainly when the pain can still persist. You can rather prefer for just go and see activity like as you, you mentioned that's where they come in cluster. Yeah. So you say you can just gather prefer for you can take them all, but if the pain come, you can just manage them yeah. until after when the attack done done. Because then the attack can last up to one month. Mm. Oh, one month. Before finally mm. it, it, it stop and then they come once every year. Okay. Every year they come. Every year they come. You know. So I just concern for a normal and uh, well, I still say this topic, topic they come up, I say I go try for ask a few questions, where I go eventually get for explain to her later. Yeah, so as, as we don't say, the, the, you know, if then we don't scan and everything, they don't classically di diagnose a, a cluster headache, a, a, the, 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 it will get the pain, but you know, not not worrying, that's not the key thing. And the, yeah, the, yeah. We, we need for the watch for any, any a symptom way different from the character to a TB they get. Right. That then they for watch for, for way in need for let them go check. Okay. They come for inquiries, this thing with the other medication, the way they take, where a doctor will know more. So then they go, they help. So if any new thing come, then that need for be investigated. And if they take a medication, we sometimes some of them get side effects and things where they wait in there and doctor know more go for, for guide on now. Otherwise, um, it, it is what it is. It, you know, it don't happen. You know, uh, it's it very difficult for treat, and some they can get different stages where they go try all measures. They can really difficult for, 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 for treat. Okay, right. Yeah, I appreciate. If we don't do well, the good thing we've been there inside them is that if we don't do all sorts of scan and everything, mm -hmm. they're not being get for diagnose any serious thing except that's where they say that was the cause of the mm -hmm. persistence of the headache. You know, so that's why they he tell me how to guys say him, he tell go thank you, they're not being diagnosed any other serious thing apart from that, you know. So I think say the best one now so far, we so far apart upon all the one the way you don't take the drugs here and there. I think the oxygen is the only option we we still the manage up to now. Yeah, you know? no, no, that, that that's the best treatment so far. Yeah, okay. Thank you so much, man. Fully appreciate it. You're welcome. Take no care. Worries.
Thank you very much. Um, Dr. Ture, and Dr. Kama, um, I get another question now. Somebody um, say he didn't get an accident about 20 years ago, and 12 years ago, he seen doctor because he came at some point, the eye came red. So about 12 years ago, a doctor advised him for the, if they use glasses and they try to get as much sleep, and, you know, regular sleep and rest as, as much as possible. However, this same thing once in a while can still happen. Um, a one, no one, um, who's kind of advice when I would give, but two, whether if we go back for CGP. The glasses, where they use them, prescribe them for them, or you just buy them in the user? Well, so, um, you know, say, I um, may just say them when doctor yeah. in GP advisor yeah. for begin use glasses. Mm -hmm. I, will, I will see, I will just assume, say, because it's a GP, mm -hmm. most likely it will be a prescribed one. Okay, so the GP know they prescribe them, <laughs> and now the optician then get for check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so let's assume if, if you not prescribe, let go, let go check in eye properly, then get the correct one. Then. Because so now it will be only the solution where they get basically. So say they strain your eye with, with the kind glasses, they get all the glasses where you don't get an eye focus, don't change, they need for check and back and get the proper one. And sometimes that's that solves the situation. Um, but if then they know of course they tell them for like a rest and everything. So that again the, the tension and all all them things and they can can worsen can come in, in addition to, to 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 that. And again, as we mentioned, we don't mention about glaucoma, anything with the eye and all the thing and they so then thing and they all can can coexist into them. So um seeing an optician and um and and look into your eye properly and and get a diary of a headache you know it could be some something associated to the headache where they get and they happen so if you get a proper diary and look into them um, if they don't investigate all that and say nothing else not just in, in, in eye then you get for get with the, with the optician then or the ophthalmologist then will look into them. Yeah. Thank you very much, Doc. Uh, as you say, the 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 glasses team, I think where they go around. I think same is going for car with glasses next week. I think I don't know if they make people seem intelligent. I see uh see if we get glasses today. Hello, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. Uh, we don't come to the end. <laughs> Welcome to the end of the program. Um, I want to say thank you very much to our all we attend. I will just go around the panel of um, the Well Body Better Part Gentry team for letting give you the last word. Um, what I want to give us what they give, I want give you take a pass. I see uh, Mrs. Gobar in our work, so I don't know if he will be able to give. So I'll go first to Uncle Doc. Um, Mrs. Gobar, if you're able to give, just wave and not say yes, you do with me. Um, Uncle Doc, with that, you advise for people them as a last word. Yeah, I mean, uh, as, uh, thank you so much to uh, Doc. You know, he really don't do well in presenting. I say headache na, just as the name say, headache na headache. <laughs> <'Cause> the doctor <laughs> <laughs> and for the patient as well. So, so you know, the, the types that I mean, as I say, you not go take one pro, one particular session the more you don't the headache. Ah, impossible because it's so wide, it's so big a topic that you can't do that in one go. Therefore, you probably get to do another one or something, but. We don't do we don't do maximum best as we get for the day. So I'm so grateful to them. And I hope so people can benefit from that. Uh, but as we can say normally, you know, prevention, you know, better than cure. If any doctor tells you say, what well, you seek, I go menu or time and say, no, no, it's the top. Mm -hmm. Clearly, because in eyes for lay able for prevent them. So if you're able to prevent the sick, then when the sick come, even if you get to yourself, you go for manage them well rather than not do nothing at all until it for them and then when it by time you realize it don't go too far. So that's the thing that making it nice for them to get them program. And we thank you now all we come and we hope so that they benefit from this thing. Therefore we are the ask una for let scatter the word as best we are able by any platform, social media, Snapchat, uh, Facebook, uh, WhatsApp, what you name it, Instagram and all that then they so that you go for go further because this uh, as we know, as we say, nobody they pay we, we just they do them out of your own heart. Therefore, no suffer in silence. Remember, if you get well body, you definitely get gentry pass the massive way they count money every day. So, well body, now you better pass gentry. No suffer in silence, but join we and you will definitely benefit from that. Thank you so much and God bless you all.
Thank you very much, Dr. Kamar. I see Angela, um, Auntie Angela Dewey too as well. So I don't know if he said go and see a last word. Um, Auntie Isata, I'll go to Auntie Angela in a bit. Okay, good evening. No, I didn't hear you. Shout a bit louder. Go away, Timo. Um, yes, Dr. Ture, thank you so much for everything. It's very, very explained so much. And the experience with the last person you shared with, the Eric, I've been sharing the same one at the meeting. We be say they get for go to certain stands, then for know exactly what to happen. They can tell very bad and very, very difficult for live with because I they live with. I may get me your means, I may they sort me on out. So I'm not going to share that. I'm not going to pass wrong information. <laughs> but the only important thing we uh, pick up as well is I understand so everybody they say that they want to use glasses, why use glasses there. As Dr. Tobebe does, if you want to use the glasses, make sure say the glass is prescribed from, from the uh, from from your um optician, ophthalmologist. Because yeah. yes, from your optician, because not, 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 not the doctor prescribe. they prescribe glasses. So mm. now optician they prescribe glasses. If you if you're fortunate for going to eye hospital to the eye clinic, sometimes even then they say they know they prescribe glasses for you. They go for toxic go see another person else or let them do that. So now me on take that. If you want to use glasses. Make sure so you get the right glasses, you get the right lens for support you. If not, it is just to make the headache worse. Because since I begin sure. using my own glasses, I know we lie, me headache done better. I know we talk, so I know they get headache where they come on and off for a far, far better than waiting with done that happened in the past. As we they always say, me pamble them, red body, better past gentry. Look with this into it where they learn. And I thank you. Thank you very much, Ma. See you again. You get anything for say? Anyway, I wear the glasses because again, just like how two don't talk so. Ah, uh, you you network or the phone get COVID. Yes. Are you fine? Oh, sorry. You hear me now? Ah, uh, okay. This is okay. We go for country. Um, Dr. Tuge, when are you last one for me, please, sir? So, uh, I want to say thanks to everybody we listen today. Everybody we can uh, um, take part and contribute, get experience. You know, um, we appreciate all when all we come, and I hope say waiting we don't listen today, um, it beneficial to everybody. Yeah, with you learn, you get able to pass on to other person. Look, like Dr. Kamal say we try for pass to all to as many people as we could. Uh, we're not being paid, but we did do this offer for everybody for let it benefit, uh, for let benefit to society and the community. So we tell them again, follow on the, on the kind of listen every two weeks. So in the next two weeks, again, we get another session. We we'll hope soon I will um, listen to. Um, uh, if anything happen, you get your headache, they mourn you. Um, be truthful to your doctor. Try for know your symptoms, not try for self diagnose. It can good. You people these days they Google everything. You can Google, but make sure say uh, as you doc, see your doctor because waiting you, your story is different from waiting at the story at the Google. So see your doctor and get a diary able for know your symptoms. If your symptoms then changing character and all of the red flags that we we'll talk about. You see a doctor, then an investigator. If they don't investigate, I know they, you know, they don't, they don't find anything, but they will forget your diagnosis. Then you work with them, and 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 hopefully that will help you and help you situation and make life easy for you. So as I can say, prevention is better than cure. Well, body better past gentry. We hope for soon again in two weeks time. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. See you again. You found the work now. I don't know. You hear me now? Ah. No, the mic, I think it's too low. I don't know what happened. Mm. Anyways, um, if I'm alone, I have plenty, plenty, thank you. Um, I'm to John Fuller. We have plenty, thank you for when I join today. Um, I hope see, when I don't benefit from this, like how everybody don't see, and we ask, say, do ya? When I spread the word for let other people and benefit. The one they able to tune into the live session, we encourage them, do ya? Let them go on Facebook and YouTube. And try for listen to the session that we will be on record. Okay. Um, the one that we get the facility or the opportunity or the the the, the sababu for let this program reach mainstream media and salon with the RC when I reach out, we'll not go charge anybody. All we to one donor for let people and benefit from this program. This will save Boku life, but like now one life is saved, it means safe for we would achieve what we've been set out for do. So till we meet again in a fortnight in two weeks. Now stay safe, well body, better pass gently. Good night.
Thank you. <clears throat> As for